everybody. I'm Noelle. I'll be your teacher for today's practice. Thank you for joining us with McMillan Library. I usually teach Friday afternoons in the actual library, but obviously we can't do that right now. So I'm going to have you begin class standing at the top of your mat, feet hip width apart. Your hands can be at heart center. Close your eyes, relax your shoulders, begin to breathe. And I'm going to read you a quote from one of my favorite writers, Anne Lamott. <clears throat> Io Doctoro said once that writing a novel is like driving a car at night. You can see only as far as your headlights but you can make the whole trip that way. You don't have to see where you're going. You don't have to see your destination or everything you will pass along the way. You just have to see two or three feet ahead of you. This is right up there with the best advice on writing or life I've ever heard. I thought that reading was relevant because we're in uncertain times right now, but we don't need to see how everything's going to pan out. We just need to be present with our current breath. Take it day by day. One pose at a time. So begin to cultivate your breath. Deep inhales, deep exhales, mouth closed. Remembering that the breath is the backbone of your practice. What I mean by that is it doesn't matter what your posture looks like as long as you are breathing. With your next inhale, join palms above head. And exhale back to heart center. Again, inhale, join the palms. Exhale to the heart. Inhale, overhead. Exhale as the right hand grabs the left wrist and you bend over to the right side, actually pulling that left arm with your right hand. Feeling a nice stretch in the lat and shoulder. Inhale to center, grab opposite wrist. Exhale over to the left side. Inhale to center, exhale, take hands to heart center. Inhale, join palms overhead. Exhale as you bend the knees, fold forward. Let the head hang heavy. Inhale to a half lift. Exhale, fold. Root down in the feet, inhale as you rise up to stand, join palms overhead, exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, join palms overhead. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale as you step back to a plank. So don't let your hips drop here. If you find that your hips are doing that, just Take your knees down to the mat. Root down in the hands. Make sure your fingers are completely spread. Rooting down in the pointer and the thumb finger. That's what we call the inner triad in yoga. So deep inhale here. And exhale as you make your way into downward facing dog. Spread the fingers. Pedal out the feet. And with an inhale, step between the hands. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up to stand. And exhale, hands at heart center. Close your eyes here, relax the shoulders. Come back to the breath. And we'll do that again. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, half lift. Exhale as you take it back to plank. Belly button pulls towards the spine. Root down in the hands. Exhale, downward facing dog. From here, go ahead, gaze up at your hands. Inhale as you step the right foot between the hands, spin the back foot so that your front heel is lined up with the back arch. And with the front knee bent, I want you to inhale as you rise up to warrior two. So with warrior two, the front knee is tracking towards the pinky toe. Weight of the back foot is in the pinky toe side as well. Back leg is straight. You inhale the arms up, you keep the shoulders relaxed. Gaze ahead of that front hand. And find a comfortable spot here. So if you notice you're gritting your teeth or holding your breath, it probably means you're bending a little bit too deep. Come out of the button slightly. From here, exhale, right elbow to the front knee. Keep that front knee bent. Inhale that left arm up. Now you can stay here or you can exhale, take that left arm up and over, palm facing the mat. This is extended side angle. Inhales, you rise back up, warrior two. And with an exhale, pivot that front foot. Turn so you're facing the side of the mat and you're gonna kind of pigeon toe your feet. So from here, I want you to straighten the legs, hands on the hips. Inhale as you gaze up. Exhale as you slowly fold forward, wide-legged forward fold. Head and neck relax, relax the jaw as well. Focusing on deep inhales and exhales. Making them as long and as even as possible. Remembering that this will kick in the part of your nervous system that produces a sense of calm within the body. From here, you're slowly going to inhale up. Keep that back leg where it is. Pivot that front leg. Both legs are straight here. I want you to extend the arms, come forward a few inches. Right hand comes down on the shin. Inhale that left arm up for triangle pose. Inhales, you rise up on that front knee, warrior two. And then exhales, you pivot forward, stepping back to plank. Holding this here. If chaturanga is in your practice, you can go ahead and come forward, bend the elbows. Inhale to upper dog. And exhale back to downward facing dog. All right, we will do the same group of postures on the opposite side. So inhales, you look forward, left foot steps. Spin that right foot, warrior two. So one thing I want you to pay attention to is shoulders should be over hips and you shouldn't be leaning forward like this. Try to be stacked. And from here, exhale, left elbow to the front knee. Bend a little bit deeper. Inhale that right arm up. Extended side angle, opposite side. Inhale. 
Inhale, rise up, warrior two. Straighten the front legs, pigeon toe the feet, facing the side of the mat. This time I either want you to interlace hands behind you, or I want you to grab opposite bicep. Inhale as you look up. Exhale as you slowly fold forward, wide-legged forward fold, just with a slight variation in the hands. From here, root down in the feet. Inhale as you rise all the way up. Keeping the leg straight. Pivot that front leg. Extend the arms. Exhale as you take it forward. Triangle pose. Inhale as you bend that front knee, warrior two. And exhale as you pivot forward, coming back to plank. So I want you to really pay attention in this plank. Notice the corset strength, how the belly button pulls towards the spine, how your obliques are engaged. And then from here, exhale back to downward facing dog. Inhale as you step that right foot forward. We're coming into a lunge now. I want you to make your lunge kind of a wider stance. Back leg is straight. Front knee wind up over the ankle. Breathe here. Sometimes we like to hold our breath in lunges, assuming that's going to make things easier. It actually tightens your muscles more. And now engaging that core strength like you had in plank. I want you to step the back foot forward an inch or two. Engage the core as you rise up to crescent. So that back heel is lifted, back leg is straight, front knee is bent. One more deep inhale here. Exhales, the hands meet the earth. Step it back to plank. Exhale into downward facing dog. Fingers spread, rooting down in the pointer and thumb. Inhale, left foot steps forward. Widen the lunge. Straighten that back leg. Root down in the four corners of the front foot. Engage the core strength. Inhale as you rise up to stand. Crescent. So with crescent pose, you should feel opening in the upper body and a nice bend in the lumbar area of the spine. This is one of our warm-up poses for the back bends that we'll be doing later. One more deep inhale here. Exhale as you actually step that back foot forward. So feet are hip width apart. You're going to straighten the front legs. Peace fingers wrap around the big toes. Bend the knees here. Head is hanging heavy. So 
So from here, release the big toes. Pivot so that your feet are kissing, bend the knees, inhale up, Utkatasana, chair pose. So keeping the right side of the lower body in a chair, I want you to cross the left leg over the right. So we're going to be coming into eagle pose now. So if you can't fully wrap the left leg around the right, you can do like that, to where the left foot is still on the ground. From here, right arm left, wraps over left, eagle arms. All right, from here, release the hands, take them to heart center. Exhale as you take that left leg behind you. Yes, I'm asking you to balance a lot, and it's okay if you fall a little. We're building the stabilizing muscles in our lower body. And we're also staying present because you're not thinking a lot of other things when you're standing on one leg. One more deep inhale here. Exhale as you bend that front knee, step it back to warrior one. So that left foot will be pointed towards the front left corner of the mat. Back leg straight, front leg bent. Inhale the arms up, warrior one. Hips are squared to the front of the mat. All right, from here you're gonna pivot. Lift that back heel up, widen your stand slightly. We're coming back into crescent pose. But this time we're gonna twist. So exhale as you twist towards the right side of the mat. Engaging the inner thighs, lengthening the arms, gazing at that back hand if it feels okay on your neck. One more deep inhale here. Exhale as you extend forward, left hand meets the mat, right arm extends up for a nice little lunge. From here, you can take the right hand to the mat, step it back to plank pose. And then from here, I want you to lower to your stomach as slow as possible. The good thing is if you just did a belly flop, I and no one else knows. All right, from here, I want you to take the forearms on the mat, elbows lined up under shoulders. We're just coming into a really gentle back bend here. Focusing on your present breath, remembering the reading from the beginning of class. You don't need to know where you're going. Just focus on where you are. All right, from here, release your back bend. Hands underneath the shoulders. I want you to push it into a child's pose. All right, from here, you're gonna go ahead, and inhale up to a tabletop position. So hands under your shoulders, knees hip width apart. We're gonna do a few rounds of cat and cow. So inhale as you gaze up, arching that lower back. And exhale as you round the spine, gaze between the knees. Inhale, arch, look up. Exhale, round. One more, inhale. And exhale. All right, come back to a neutral spine, curl the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog.
From here, inhale as you step it forward. Feet are hip width apart again. This time you have the option of peace fingers around the big toes, or you can actually slide the hands underneath the feet. Generous bend in the knees, lengthening that spine. Padahastasana. Go ahead and release the hands. Pivot so the feet are touching again. Bend the knees. Inhale up. Utkatasana, chair pose. From here, keeping the left side in chair, you're going to wrap the right leg around. And then left arm or right. Garudasana, eagle pose. So the series of balancing postures, you're using a lot of the core activation that we've been working on in plank. All right, from here, release the arms, take them to heart center. Right leg goes behind you. Keep that right leg straight. Pretending like you're trying to Bruce Lee the back of the mat. One more deep inhale here. Exhale as you step back with control. Warrior one, front knee bent, back leg straight, hips square to the front of the mat. Inhale the arms up. All right, from here, a slight pivot of that front foot. Lift the heel of the back leg, back leg as straight as you can get at crescent pose. Inhale as you gaze up here. Exhale as you twist to the left. Exhale as you lengthen, right hand comes down to the mat. You can lengthen the stance a little bit. Left arm extends up, a lunge with a twist. All right, from here, exhale, left hand to the mat. Step it back to a plank. And then slowly lower all the way down to the belly. All right, you have the option of doing the same back bend that we did last time, or if you want to take it a little deeper, you can. So option number two would be arms on the side. You lift the arms and the legs. Option number three, and I would only do this if you already do it in your practice, is Dhanurasana, bow pose. So hands meet the ankles. You kick the feet into the hands, and you breathe here. I'm going to do option number one. So breathe here for a few minutes. And remember that it's okay to relax. Exhale as you release, hands underneath the shoulders, push it back to a child's pose. All right, from here, inhales, you slowly come up and find your way to your bottom. So we're gonna do a few rounds of boat pose. So option number one for boat is you keep your feet on the mat, lean back slightly, making sure you're not rounding the upper body. 
arms extend. You're still activating your middle section here. Option number two is you lift the legs, arms extended. So keep that chin lifted. Breathe here. Exhales, you slowly release. Bottoms of the feet join together, knees butterfly open. Close your eyes, relax. And we're going to go to boat two. So feet back on the mat. And breathe here. Remembering we're just focusing on the current inhale and exhale. Turning the mind to the present moment. Being okay with not really knowing where we're going. I might keep you in boat for the next 30 minutes. You don't know. Good exercise and trust, right? One more deep inhale here. Exhale as you release. Take the legs out in front of you. Inhale the arms up. Exhale as you fold forward. Paschimottanasana. Let the head hang heavy. All right, inhale back up to seated, another boat. Yay, I know this is everyone's favorite. All right, take the feet up. Try to keep your mind from wondering, I wonder how many boat poses we're gonna be in, remembering. You don't need to be able to see the whole road, just a few feet in front of you. Exhale as you release here. Extend that left leg forward. Cross the right leg over the left. Hug the knee into the chest. Inhale that right arm up. Exhale as you take it behind you. Gazing over that right shoulder. All right, inhale back to center. Uncross the legs. Boat number four. You guys are doing great. I think, I can't actually see you. I just lied to you. All right, send the arms out. If you're still here, you're doing great. Feet on the mat or extend it up, whatever you feel like. So I'm gonna distract you in this one because you're probably getting a little tired of ab exercises. Speaking of taking it day by day, and then holding off, cutting my bangs, because I'm like, oh, maybe I'll be able to go to my hairdresser next week. Well, as we know, I still can't. So I cut them myself this morning, and I think I might look like a little boy from The Shining. I suppose there are worse things. All right, exhale as you release, right leg extends, cross that left leg over, hug the knee into the chest, inhale up, exhale behind you. All right, inhale back to center. Can you guess our next pose? Yes, it is boat again. Number five, extend your legs up, arms up the side, or again, feet on the mat if you want.
One more deep inhale. Exhale as you slowly release. Left leg extends out. Bottom of the right foot comes on the inside of the upper left leg. Inhale the arms up. Exhale as you slowly extend forward. Inhale up, exhale as you release, bottom of the feet to the mat, take the arms out, boat number, I think six, I can't really remember, I've lost track. Exhale as you release, extend that right leg out. Bottom of the left leg comes to meet it. Left foot, not leg. Inhale the arms up. Exhale as you extend forward. So try not to round that upper body. Your belly button and lower stomach should be meeting your thigh before anything else. All right, inhale up from here, feet to the mat. I have some really good news. This is our last boat. And it's kind of like we're gonna sink our ship here. Maybe a bad analogy, I don't know. But I want the feet to stay on the mat with this one. And with your exhale, I want you to do the slowest exhale possible and vertebrae by vertebrae. You're gonna lower all the way down to the mat. All right, from here, bend the knees. Flex the right foot, cross that right ankle just above the left knee. Now you can stay here, or if your right hip is feeling it, inhale as you lift up that left leg, holding behind that left thigh for figure eight. Breathe here, we're gonna be here a while, so get really comfy. What I mean by that is don't be forcing yourself so deeply into the stretch that you don't want to hold it longer than five breaths because you will be here longer. All right, from here, release that left leg. Hook the right knee into the chest. Extend your opposite leg so it's resting on the mat. So this one is just dead weight. Let gravity pull it towards the mat. And you can stay here or you can try to straighten that right leg. All right, from here, bend the right knee. Left hand on the right knee, extend that right arm out like a T. Cross that right leg over the left side of the body. Nice supine twist. Remembering your breath, long, slow, deep inhales and exhales. All right, from here, inhale back to center. Exhale, release that right foot to the mat, bend the left leg. I'm gonna do this on the opposite side. So flex that left foot, cross it just above the knee. Again, stay here or pull the knees in towards the chest. If there's any runners in the groups, this is a great IT band release. 
All right, from here, slowly let that right foot back to the mat. Pull the left knee towards the chest. Extend that right leg so it's resting. Again, stay here or straighten that left leg slightly. All right, with an exhale, bend the left leg. Right hand to the left knee, cross it over the body, extend that left arm out for a supine twist. Close your eyes if you like. Try to soften everything, your forehead, your jaw. Your hands even. I was gripping my hands right there. Inhale back to center. Left foot meets the mat. Bend the right knee. Feet hip width apart. Inhale as you lift the hips up towards the sky. Coming into a gentle bridge. Exhale as you slowly release. From here, allow the bottoms of the feet to join together, knees butterfly open for Supta Baddha Konasana. Inhale, bottom of the feet to the mat again. Hip width apart. Inhale as you lift the hips up. Maybe this time shimmy the shoulders into these hands underneath you. Exhale as you slowly release the hands. Bring the low back to the earth. Bottoms of the feet join, knees butterfly open. All right, from here, take your arms out to a T. Bring the legs up. Exhale as you let both legs fall to the left, gazing right. Inhale as you rise back up to center. Exhale as you take them over to the right. Gazing left this time. Inhale back to center. And then from here, exhale as you extend the legs out fully in front of you arms at your side. This is our final pose of the class. This is called Shavasana, also known as corpse pose. But I find that this is one of the most difficult poses for students because they don't actually know how to give up control and relax. I'm guilty of that. I'm not just accusing all of you. But it's a really good practice, especially for a time like this when we don't have control over a lot of things. So I want you to literally just melt into the earth Close your eyes and breathe.
go ahead, extend your arms overhead. Bend your knees, roll over to your side, whatever side is most comfortable right now. And then from here, you're gonna push yourself up to a simple cross-legged position on your mat. So hands can be on your knees here at heart center, whatever feels most comfortable. I just want you to spend a few moments breathing, deep inhales, deep exhales. This is the magic of yoga. People feel nice and relaxed after class. I'm not asking you to do really easy things that are relaxing. A lot of the things that we did on the mat were difficult, but the deep inhales and exhales kick in the parasympathetic part of the nervous system that allows your body to say, we're not in danger. You can rest and digest. So enjoy those moments here, close your eyes. And allow the breath to do its magic through the body. Keeping your eyes closed, go ahead and join your hands at heart center. And exhale forward, namaste. Thank you for joining, friends. Have a good weekend.